Hello guys, welcome back. Today we're going to look at a hidden staircase. So this one is pretty straightforward. Uh, we have a normal staircase going up. And then we have a lever to toggle the hidden staircase. And then you can go down. So in this case I have a lever right here. Uh, which turns it on and off. So when using a hidden entrance you probably also want a hidden door. Or a hidden activation button. Uh, so you, you might want to use uh, this thing we built in another video which i will link um, as a featured video and in the description uh, so that what does this do when we turn off that light a secret door opens or in this case a secret staircase might open so the nice thing about this design is a uh, few things the first thing is that it's pretty quick so like you can see it opens well fairly fast uh, but it closes even faster uh, so i think i could probably run up there when closing it well it, it works uh, another nice thing about this is that it's tileable. So that means that we can make this as long as we want. Uh, in this case I have th uh, three stairs coming down. But you could actually make this five or seven or nine. Uh, just as long as you want. So this is the side view. It's not very big. So the redstone itself is only three blocks tall and four blocks wide. Uh, and you do need an activation dust right there. So let me show it to you from the side. So we have a very simple double piston extender. This is used in a lot of builds. Uh, we power that with a observer. Um, this is to create the one tick pulse. Then we also need this left piston to spit out the bottom staircase. So we do this by making use of the double piston extender. So this repeater is bring into that piston, which also powers the uh, lower piston. And when that comes back, uh, we send an observer pulse into this block, which activates that piston. Another way to build this like this, uh, with the redstone dust on that block. Uh, there is a problem with that though, because when using this system, you cannot expand it. Because when going sideways, the redstone dust is not connected to the piston anymore. But this will also work and this makes the door a bit faster. So if you're using a one wide hall, you might want to consider this, because it's a little bit faster uh, for the bottom piston. Like you can see. So to build this, you will need four sticky pistons three observers, a repeater, uh, some building blocks, and some redstone dust. Uh, so to start th things off, I'm first going to make my input line, um, which it doesn't matter how long it is, uh, which has the lever, so we can turn it on and off. Then you want to place an observer on any of those blocks, uh, with the detection part running into the redstone dust. Then you will need a building block on the output side of that observer, with a piston set to four ticks. And then you will need a observer facing up. So that observer is looking at this repeater. And then you need a uh, solid block above that. So this is your double piston extender. Two pistons on the back of that repeater. So I can show this to you. This will spit out the block. And this will take the block back. So let me replace that with a stair. Spit it out. And this will take it back. For less parts you will need another sticky piston on the top side of the double piston extender. With a staircase on top. Then you want a sticky piston underneath the double piston extender facing towards the single piston with an observer pointing up. And then either if you want to tile this, you need to place a block right there. If you have a single one and you want it a little bit faster, then you can place a block right there and a redstone dust right there. So I'm going with the tileable one. Now you want another stair right here. And this is where you're then you want another stair two blocks above um, the solid block for the observer. And now you have your complete staircase. So thanks for watching, that was the hidden staircase entrance, and I hope to see you in the next one, bye.